anything like that this will change your life as you're trying to start your own YouTube channel Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samaya and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips on some things that you should do before you start a YouTube channel. But before we start this video, I've already dropped this makeup look. So if you haven't seen it already, please go check that out right now. Okay, now let's get into the video. So, on my iPad, I just have a couple of tips that I have for you guys. Um, I just listed them in Trello. And some of these you might have heard of already, but some of them I know for sure like a bunch of people have not talked about. The very first tip that I have for you guys is do not compare yourself to other YouTubers, whether they are do not compare yourself to other YouTubers, whether they are small or whether they are big YouTubers. That can be like a downfall to your brand or your channel because, you know, it can make you really depressed or, you know, you're unrealistic with your channel and where you need to go for yourself. So I would say just like focus on yourself. You can always look to their channel to see like what kinds of things you could do that you like from their channel but don't compare yourself like dang well it only took them like three months to get like a thousand subscribers why am i not there yet like you're going to process in your own time so just make sure that you're focusing on yourself your goals your channel okay so tip number two that i have for you guys is to make sure that you're creating content or videos that people actually want to watch now this is a problem that a lot of small youtubers including myself tend to struggle with you know you kind of think of oh this would be a good video to do but you have to think about the niche that you have and what kind of things they're interested in as well as what's trending and other factors that go into getting videos that people want to watch so they actually watch your videos and your videos can be more successful based off of the youtube algorithm so some of the things that you can do is, you know, following trends with videos, but also making sure to put your own spin on it. But also, you know, doing some of the fun videos like um, going to the worst reviewed or best reviewed kind of videos have been trending, at least in makeup or in a lot of other genres or even reaction type videos or some things that, you know, kind of grow your channel a lot more because it gets people to gravitate to your channel. And then you can bring some of the videos that you want to do on your channel with that. The third tip that I have for you guys is to build your own community. Now, what I mean by this is once you know your specific niche and your niche is who you're trying to get to watch your videos, whether you are a sports channel, a makeup channel, um, a tech channel, whatever it is, it is the people that you want to watch your video. That is what your niche is. And so by building your own community, it's building people in a similar kind of niche background. Once you know what your niche is, you find people who are in the same kind of category or niche that you're in, and you kind of create connections and build friendships with them so you can you know gain support learn new tips learn how to kind of better market or just have kind of like a confidence builder when you're feeling bad about you know your channel not growing those are kind of relationships that you want to build because one thing that i have learned in the group me that i'm in personally is that sub for sub definitely does hurt your channel and your growth rate because One thing sub for sub does hurt your channel and the growth rate you have because you have people who are subscribing to your channel but aren't watching your content which hurts your YouTube algorithm. So that is something that you want to build because when you create a community, you build a surrounding of people who are interested in your content, are going to support your content and can help you because you gain information from other people and you also can tap into their support base or you find a support or a fan base 
from the community you've created yourself. So the fourth tip that I have for you guys is to pre-record your videos will really change your life. And what pre-recording is, is when you take a day or a set period of time and you just record a bunch of videos back to back and then you edit them later. So you have like, say, what, what kind of numbers do I want to use? Okay. Oh, say that you record eight videos and you know you post twice a week. That is a month's worth of videos that you have set in time already that you recorded in one day. And that will change your life, especially if you're very busy, say you own your own business, you're in school, you have a job, anything like that, this will change your life as you're trying to start your own YouTube channel. Pre-recording also allows you to be more consistent on your channel without falling on and off with your channel because you're, you're, because your fan base is going to want some sort of consistency with seeing your content and that's something that I've been trying to grow with as you see now that I'm posting twice a week. The next tip that I have for you guys is to make sure you pay extra attention to your thumbnails, titles, and your description box because these are three important things that are going to help you grow your channel. So thumbnails are going to be the very first thing that people see. So you want to make sure that your thumbnail is eye-catching. For me personally, I like to have um, thumbnails that have really bright, vibrant colors. And you also want to go with simple fonts. When I was first starting my channel, I would use these pretty fonts because I felt like it made it look better. So you want to make sure that the font is easy for people to read if they were looking on it on their phone or whatever device they look for. You want to make sure everything is consistent. The next thing is the description box. The description box holds a lot of information for your channel and can also boost how far your video progresses. And one of the things that does this is including the title in your description box as well as the tags. And a lot of people say tags aren't important, but they kind of are just because it helps categorize what kind of video you are, especially when you're a lot smaller of a channel. Now, the next thing you want to pay attention to with your description box is because you can use it to help get brands to check out. So include the products and stuff that you're using in your videos so you can get companies to support you even when you're small. But the other thing too is you want to make sure that you're also including the music if you decide to have music in the background of your videos in that description box as well. Now, another hack that you may not have heard of is using hashtags. And by putting hashtags in the description box, it puts it right underneath your videos. So then people will start seeing those hashtags and it also boosts the amount of viewers who see it because it's pulling that in that hashtag. The next tip that I want to go into is quality over quantity. Now I know a lot of YouTubers talk about how it's important to make sure you're posting multiple times a week. But the important thing too is to make sure that you're posting quality videos with good lighting, good kind of picture quality, and that you're presenting your best self instead of throwing a video that you recorded in like 30 minutes and edited it in like 15 and posting it. For me, I take a lot of time and I'm a perfectionist and it takes me a lot longer to create the kind of product I want. So it makes me function a lot slower. So could my channel have progressed at a faster rate? Yes, but I wanted it to look a certain way and get myself to a certain level, so I took the longer route. And you know, I perfected my quality and I'm starting to promote myself so I can excel better now. The other part of quality over quantity is you really do want to make sure that you are super, super consistent with posting videos. You don't want to post, you know, once a week and you know, one day you miss and then you fall off of YouTube for like a year and come back and expect yourself to be successful. If you start making YouTube videos and you stop doing it, people are going to forget about your channel because some new YouTuber is going to come up and distract them and they're going to be following them. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention. So you want to make sure that you're being consistent with your channel and posting videos at least once a week to start off. And something I would say is, you know, when you're first starting your channel, try to either pre-record so you can already have like a good month's worth of videos from the jump, or you start off with, you know, one video a week and then work your way up to adding 
two videos a week, three videos a week, a video every day, depending on what kind of content that you're going to be presenting. The next tip that I have is that you guys need to make sure that you're really promoting yourself even if you feel like you're getting annoying, you know. The only way for you to be successful with this is to really put yourself out there, be consistent, even if you feel stupid, just keep pushing yourself. And that is something that I'm working with myself because I know my content is great even though I'm still working on it, but I do need to do better with promoting myself, putting myself out there so people can see all the hard work that I take to do these videos. Just make sure you're promoting yourself on Snapchat, Instagram, all those things and push content like so heavy. Use hashtags like crazy and you can start seeing to build and you will start seeing like the growth with your channel as you try to reach a better audience. The next thing that I want to get into is something that you probably have heard. You don't need a lot of equipment to start your channel. It's probably best to start with, you know, even if you have to start with your iPhone, just start with that and make sure you have good lighting. Like if anything, invest in a ring light before you invest in a camera. Um, just because you want to make sure that this is something you actually want to do, that you are committed to doing it, you know you're going to stay consistent before you try to upgrade with your equipment. And one thing I wish I would have did is I wish I would have waited to get camera equipment after I started to build my audience because I feel like I have a lot of equipment but I don't have the audience to match, you know, the level of equipment I have. Now, it does make my video quality at the level that I want it, but I think I could have went about it in a different way. And if you guys want to see what kind of camera I have, I will have a link to that video as well. And I will be bringing more videos on being a YouTuber and YouTuber hacks. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is no copyrighted music. Now, I'm going, this is like the biggest secret that a lot of people do not want to talk about is how they put their music in their videos and I'm going to tell you right now. So basically how a lot of people um, get music in their videos, for me, I use Save From Net and I use my computer because documents stopped working for whatever reason on my iPad. So I use Save From Net in my videos and then basically what I do is I search YouTube for no copyright music and and you want to make sure that you read the description box to make sure you can use their music in your videos and then all you have to do is make sure to put their information or whatever they had in their description box into your description box so you can give them proper credit for your videos. So the last and final tip I have for you guys is truly just to be yourself because that's really what's going to allow your channel to grow. It's just being authentic, letting your personality shine through. That's what's really going to make you grow the best. Jesus, why can't I say most? Jesus, why can't I say That's really what's going to make you grow the most. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. But before we go, make sure you do those four important things. Like this video, hit the subscription button, the notification bar, and share this with somebody you think would enjoy this video. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!